where's the direction of WordPress going? And me as a developer, what should I be focusing on? Why aren't more people developing block themes? Why would they wanna keep that information from you? So I just had to find out. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. What I wanna to do today is talk about what's the availability of block themes on wordpress.org? What's the total number of block themes you can find there? And the reason why this interests me is because as a theme developer, I like to know what the trends are because up-to-date data can really have a serious impact on the type of projects you take on. I mean, what does the community want? What do developers want? What is the demand out there? So the data matters and the numbers matter. It helps you to make an informed decision, either as a developer or a WordPress user about what you're gonna be using for your website. Now, if you go to the themes page on wordpress.org and you browse the latest, you see this banner up here. It probably says there are 11,391 free themes as of this recording. But then the question comes up, how many of those themes are classic themes and how many are block themes? Now, for the purpose of this video, what I wanna do is I'm gonna to group together classic themes and hybrid themes. And the reason for that is because there's no real way to parse through the data to separate classic and hybrid. But if we go back here, if we look at block themes, these are the available block themes as of today. But what's missing is a number. We don't know how many block themes currently exist on wordpress.org. But that wasn't always the case. And if you look back at some of my other videos, there was a time where you could see how many themes were actually block themes. You would get an actual number. If you wanna check out those videos, one of them is what's the difference between a classic theme, a hybrid theme, and a block theme. And the other video is how to develop your own WordPress theme from scratch. Check out the video cards and the description down below. So when I started investigating and started looking back to see when did this change happen, it started to make me think why would they all of a sudden take away the ability to see the number of block themes you can get on wordpress.org? And then it started to make me think, why would they wanna keep that information from you? So I just had to find out. So with the help of OSINT, which is open source intelligence, I started my research. Now in reality, this is a video I wanted to make for a while, but I got reminded about it when I read this article on WP Tavern. This was written on October 3rd, 2023, by Sarah Gooding, and she says, the contentious review process leads Ollie theme to remove innovative onboarding features amid stagnating block theme adoption. So that's a devastating headline right there because you gotta think about it. There's been a tremendous amount of effort put into developing full site editing capabilities in WordPress. With the Gutenberg plugin, with block themes, with block patterns, and pretty much 100% of the focus of the developers at WordPress, focusing on full site editing. So this is a very good article, so you definitely should check it out. But if you scroll down, evolving theme reviews, WordPress.org must stop alienating innovators while block theme adoption is stagnating. And then, we see this chart over here, this spreadsheet about full site editing from the beginning to where it's currently at. But I like to verify data myself, so I ran my own tests and did my own research on this. And I'm gonna share that with you now. But first, Sarah wrote this other article, Why Aren't More WordPress Theme Authors Creating Block Themes? And she mentions how Matt Mullenweg mentions that there should be about 5,000 themes. And he goes on to say, Ideally, 3,000 of these block themes. And that was back in 2021. All right, so where are we now? As I mentioned, we can see how many free themes are available on WordPress.org. We can see that we don't have a number of the total available themes that you can find on the repository. Let me X out of these. So how do we solve this dilemma? The answer is to turn back the hand of time and see what the WordPress.org themes page looked like years ago. Now, how do we do that with the Wayback Machine? And the ultimate goal of the video is to see what the projection is going to be for block themes in the future. But let's go to the archive.org. If you go here to web.archive.org, this is the Wayback Machine. It's the Internet Archive. It says, explore more than 846 billion web pages saved over time. That's a lot of web pages. So to save you time, what I did was I opened up my snapshots. And on March 12th, 2021 was the first snapshot that the Wayback Machine has in terms of full site editing. 
And you can see on this date, it had three themes available. That's on March 12th, 2021. If we go to the next snapshot, we see on April 13th, they now have five themes available. Now, very quickly, there's a lot of snapshots that are in between some of these, but for the sake of brevity, I decided to just share with you what I think are the most important dates. So let's fast forward to December 31st, the end of the year to see how many themes they got to by the end of that year. And we see the number is 33. All right, so it's the first year. So we really can't expect there to be thousands of themes available immediately. But let's see how long it takes for us to get to a thousand or 2000 block themes. Let's step forward to the anniversary date one year later from the first snapshot that the Wayback Machine took. So March 12th, 2022, we now see we have 53 themes. Fast forward to the end of the year, December 31st, 2022, we now see they jumped up to 203 themes from March to December. That's not bad. Let's step forward again. At the end of the month of January 31st, 2023, they jumped up to 226. Now you're gonna see a pattern that they're jumping up roughly about 20 to 30 and sometimes 40 themes per month. Jump up again to February 28th and we see they have 238 themes. Fast forward to May 31st, 318. So they had a nice jump there but that's from February to May. So I skipped a couple of months. Go forward to June 12th. Now this day is important because this is the last day that you were able to actually see on wordpress.org how many block themes are available. And we see here 330. So they jumped up to 330. And now if we go to the next snapshot, this is the day after, there's no number. They decided at that point to stop sharing the information. Now, remember the article on WP Tavern, it talks about how Matt Mullenweg wanted to have ideally about 3,000 or even 5,000 block themes on WordPress.org. And that was a couple of years ago. And after all this time, they're still not there. Now, I want to show you some charts that I have real quick. This is a table of a breakdown of the block theme availability, the starting date, full site editing block themes, and classic and hybrid themes, and the total number. Now, this information is important because what it's going to show you is the growth over time of the various type of themes you can get on wordpress.org. So you see the growth over here. The total number of themes, 8,144, to on October 18th, it was 11,386. And you see the growth of classic and hybrid themes and the growth of full site editing and block themes. Now, if you like percentages, that's what this looks like over here. For those same dates, these are the percentages. Classic and hybrid themes, as of October 18th, account for just over 96% of all themes you can get on WordPress.org. Block themes are less than 4%. And in a minute, I'm going to show you my projection for where we're going to be going in terms of block themes and classic and hybrid themes. But first, I want to show you how to get the accurate number of how many available themes there are right now that are block themes on WordPress.org. Now, this snapshot is from January 1st, 2021. I'm using the basic wordpress.org forward slash themes, forward slash browse, forward slash new. And here it shows you on this date, there were 8,009 themes. They don't even have a full site editing or a block theme option over here. But if you go to the feature filter right here, and you scroll down, you toggle that checkbox there, and then apply filters, it's gonna process what the current number is. So even though this snapshot is back in 2021, it shows there are 455 themes that are tagged as full site editing. And I manually verified this by actually going here, this is the current view, and scrolling down and counting how many themes there were, just to verify. So right there, we have the number back. The magic number is 455. As you see here on my chart, from yesterday, from October 18, 2023, we have 453, so two more came on since then. So now we got the information back. So what can we do with this information? Why is it important? Again, it's all about the trends. It's all about where's the direction of WordPress going? And me as a developer, what should I be focusing on? Now, I think Block Themes and I think the Gutenberg Editor has the place in the ecosystem. You're gonna have people who want the classic editor. And you can have people who want to have the block editor. And that's what makes WordPress great. It's all about the options. It's all about the ability to design the type of platform you want 
for yourself. But again, information is important. The data is important because it's relevant to me as a developer and to you as a user to determine which direction I should be going in. And then it raises the question, why aren't more people developing block themes? And again, I think it comes down to choice. So you can see a lot of classic and hybrid themes. Hybrid themes are a way to implement some of the block editor features into a classic theme. And there's a lot of those on WordPress. So now what does the future hold? I did a projection, used some linear regression models, did some statistical analysis, and some simple averaging of growth based on the historical data. And I did it for 24 months going forward. So these are my projections. And again, they're projections, they're estimations. This is running my mathematical models. And this is what I came up with. On November 17th of this year, we'll have about 488 full site editing block themes. We'll have about 11,000 and change classic hybrid themes and the total will be 11,635. But when do we get to a thousand themes? Well, we roughly get there sometime between January and February of 2025. So we're gonna be far off from the 3,000 to 5,000 themes that was mentioned in that article. By October of 2025, we'll finally have 1,284 block themes on wordpress.org. Classic and hybrid will account for over 16,000 themes. Now, if you like percentages, this is how that breaks down. We're gonna see that block themes start ticking up, of course, in terms of the percentage. They're gonna go from just over 4% to in October 2025, just over 7% but classic and hybrid themes will still account for the overwhelming majority of themes on WordPress. So what does that mean to you? Should you be using a block theme? Should you be using a classic or a hybrid theme? Well, it's all dependent on your use case. What do you prefer working with? And that's why I recommend you download WordPress to your local computer, play around with it, try out different themes, different plugins, get familiar with the platform, and then make a decision on which one you like. And then from there, put it on your production site. But for now, come on WordPress, put the number back on wordpress.org. Show how many block themes there currently are. That's all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.